What I've got here is an item that I've got patent pending. It's a tray that goes on the top of an aerial bucket for alignment. This is a mock-up of an aerial bucket I have. It's a liner and a piece of old bucket. This is the tray itself. It's a urethane molded tray. It can be ABS, it can be fiberglass, a bunch of different things. Basically what it is, inside tray area to throw your small items. Got a sidewall, got a sidewall, got a ramp system here, ramp system here, saddle here, saddle here. These saddles are where your bucket hooks go. That helps hold it on. It would be placed on top of your bucket lip as such. I do not have any uh, bucket hooks. I have those coming, but I do not have none now and I want to get this out. So anyhow, it would be set on your uh, lip of your bucket as such. Bucket hook would go here, bucket hook would go here. Then you could take and put your nose bag on the outside, tool apron on the inside, or whatever application you have. Basically what the tray is good for is, as of right now, <coughs> we linemen, we lay stuff here, or flat edges, where we can put it, we can put it in our nose bag or an inside uh, apron, but it gets cluttered up with all the other stuff. As such it is right now, trying to pull something out of a nose bag, a small item such as this, we can get them off the lip fairly easy, but they get bumped off. But if it's in here with five, ten other things, trying to manipulate that thing out of there is just not real fun in the primary zone. So we normally boom out or put it in our mouth or something to hold it so we got access to it. What the tray does <coughs> is when you throw your parts in here, here's a cotter pin. I'm going to hold this down because I don't have a bucket hook. But whenever you put your parts in here, you can manipulate your parts around, move them around where you want. I want this Belleville washer, pull it right up the ramp as such and grab it. Put it on your item. I want the cotter key, move it around to wherever you want, manipulate it, grab it, you have your cotter key. It's a handy tool. They're out there being used. It is patent pending. Uh, guys are liking it. Some guys don't, but a lot of guys do. Just looking for opinion. This is one item. Like I said, it's patent pending. This is where the bucket hooks go. It's a saddle area. This is a nice ramp. Ramp, and this is approximately 5 eighths tall. Another item that I have that is similar to that is this item here. It is a molded over the top, has a tray system, bucket hook goes here, bucket hook goes here. You basically place this over just like you would a tool board over your bucket. Put your bucket hooks in here, got the same idea. You throw your tools, your parts, wherever you want, do your work, grab your part, pull it up, got it in your gloves. You can manipulate them however you want, grab it, have a cotton key. This item works pretty good itself. Works great with rubber gloves when you're up in the primary zone. One more item I've done is a fiberglass tool board. I do not have any of the bucket or any of the tool pouches on here or holders. Don't have those yet, but I do have the tray built into here. You take and put, does the same thing as the other trays. You take and put your items up here. Got the whole area to hold small items. Pull it up the ramp, right into your hand. Works great with gloved hands. It's a good place to hold stuff. These are all patent pending. I'm working on getting some of these out in the field. This particular one is being used in the field right now. The group that is using it really likes it. I've got good reviews on it. Hopefully somebody will chime in on the blog. Uh, that are using it and let us know what they think. These items here, I've got a bunch of these out <coughs> being used uh, with good results. I've got another embodiment of this that actually attaches down on top of a flat existing tool board if your company allows it or whoever. Uh, it'll attach down either with fasteners or an adhesive. Uh, that's up to your company. You have to check on that. 
but that one is another embodiment. I have one more to show you. Thank you.